Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Tracy's RV Center in Milgram, Ontario, Canada. Shooting another video. This is a 24 foot. And again, that's from tip to tip of the trailer. It's 7'3 uh, wide. And it's got some pretty unique features on the inside. That's why we're shooting this particular video because we've shot a number of 24s. It has your outside shower also over here on the uh, left hand side for people that want an outside shower. Um, and on the other side over here, some, something that's kind of unique is we've also started with some of the coaches, people have been asking for double steps. So when it comes to walking in the trailer, it gives you not such a big step going in and out, keeping you a little closer to the ground. It also has the outside TV on it and stuff too for people that want to bring the TV on the outside. But uh, my main reason on this particular trailer is to show you some of the features on the inside. So hey, let's go on board and we'll look at the features on the inside. Hey, now we got you on the inside of this particular trailer. Um, this is a double bunk uh, model with a couch at the back that pulls into a queen and this is a 48 up at the front. So when it comes to sleeping a number of people, it has that option of sleeping a number of people at the same point. Um, so you have the overhead bunk, our little ledge, and again, like I said, this is a 48 at the front. Something that's kind of unique with this one particular trailer is they wanted for televisions and that. So Bob can get up here. You can see we've got a couple of televisions in this coach. It's got a television up at the front. So if they're sitting up at the dinette, they can watch it. You also have the GoPower uh, solar system. And we also put a pantry up at the front. So a place for where they can put all their food up at the front. So they're not looking through the trailer, wondering where all their food is or anything. It's always in the one cabinet and you know exactly where the food is. And, you know, if somebody wants to go to bed at the same point and watch the television at the back, they can watch the television at the back, and I'll show you where the TV mounts at the back when we, once we get there. But they have a TV up at the front. When we get over to the kitchen area here, something that's kind of unique, it has this 8-foot long counter in this particular coach. We have, this, we have the spot up here where you can set your shoes off to the side when you come in the door so that your shoes aren't being knocked around right when you come in. We've given you a bit of a landing space there. So you've got a spot for your shoes and lots of counter space. So this is an eight foot counter, lots of storage up above. They have a, uh, this is your microwave convection oven. So it's also a range hood with all the lights, very similar to what you have at home. Exact same sort of system. It's 30 inch, it's a big unit. Lots of storage up above, storage at the end cupboards here. Uh, something that's kind of unique, once we get to this big of a counter that we can offer in this size of a trailer being a 24, you do have all your storage underneath that we've always been sort of noted for. But something we've also can sneak in with this much counter space is your slide out where it has a recycle bin and a garbage can at the same point. So when you're prepping stuff on the counter here, you've got a spot to sort of put it and you're not looking for a garbage can and it's a recycle bin. They've got the removable containers there for taking out. It's a pretty neat, pretty neat uh, little system. It's got a two burner cooktop. It's got all your drawers from there at the end and uh, something that they've added that we haven't ever done really to a trailer before is they also have added two fridges to this particular trailer. So we've mounted a little 1.7 fridge down below so that they have a, a beverage fridge. So if they want to put pop, wine, or a little bit of beer, or anything like that in it, they have the option to do it without getting into the fridge. So, and their thought process was really, you know, with the grandkids and that, if they're up and they want to get a pop and things like that, they're not getting into the main fridge in the trailer. They've got this little beverage fridge here, which is still a, you know, a gas electric fridge. Will work all on its own out in the middle of a field. Now they've got two fridges on board, which makes it pretty unique. Um, I think from there we'll get Bob to slide around and we'll show it on the back here. So we've got the couch on the back. This is going to pull into a queen bed. So it's going to be 60 inches by 84 long. So it's a little longer than a queen. You still have the bunk area up above here. Uh, for you know storage and blankets and also sleeping and they also have their second TV mount right here. Um, they had just a one TV supplied with it from there they're supplying their own television so if somebody back here wants to watch TV they can also watch it here and they can take one of these televisions outside hook it up on the outside and somebody could still be in the trailer watching television if that's what they 
choose to do. It's really a personal choice. So they've got lots of options of what they want to do in the trailer for entertaining. It's got a nice size closet in it, a, a huge closet with a couple of shelves. I mentioned to you about the fridges. This also has a 6.5 in a fridge on it with the light on in it. So it's got where it's got the light on in the fridge too when it's coming on and off, meaning that the fridge is in the on position. So that's why we're saying that they have the two fridges. This is a fridge mainly for all their food on board so that when it comes to beverages and stuff like that, they're not, um, they're not keeping their beverages in the main fridge. They've got them in a separate fridge on the trailer altogether. From there, this has your large bath in it. So it has where it is your uh, tub, toilet. It's got your medicine cabinet where we make all our own cabinets and stuff. Put a couple of lights on in here. Um, so, and you've got a, a place up above for storing, uh, you know, extra uh, towels and stuff like that. A spot for a garbage can or a, a clothes basket and that. And you've got storage underneath as well. They chose to go with a little smaller sink in this one, so it sets in a couple of inches too. Gives them maybe a couple more inches in the washroom. Again, that's a personal choice on what you want on the trailer and what you don't want. Um, on our thermostats today too, we've now incorporated when you have the uh, air conditioners and furnaces mounted on them, they're all on a, a digital thermostat now. So you've got fan, cool, and furnace. And from there, you can select Celsius and Fahrenheit. It all depends on what you want. It's all a digital readout. But you have to, when we're building the trailer, put a air conditioner on it and the furnace because it all comes with a computer box now and they're running together where you can run one or the other there's no controls on the air conditioners anymore it's all run from the thermostat there um, this particular trailer when we put it on the scales and weighed it come on come in at 2987 pounds with all the features because it has most of the features that we do out there today um, right down it did have a power jack on the front I forgot to mention um, on the front of the coach as well with your large side awning, all your BAL leveling jacks. So it's got a really a lot of great features, sleeps a lot of people at the same point, and uh, you know, for people that love cooking and all that kind of stuff, you got all the great counter space, lots of storage. It's a pretty unique trailer. If you've got some ideas and, and that you want to bring to the table and talk to me about, you can give me a call on the phone or send me an email. Again, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach and Tracy's RV. Look forward to hearing from you. If you watch for more videos down the road, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.